we've all just grown up like we are grown grown we're the new adults guys throughout those years it was almost like there was like a disconnect with my own subscribers will you start showing some of your wedding plans on social media introducing your fiance Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're an OG, OD with a goodie, thank you so much for coming back to another video. Okay guys, as you can tell by the title, today I am doing a reintroduction to YouTube. Because yes, word on the street is your girl is back on YouTube. And I say back in quotation marks because I've been here, but I haven't really been on YouTube consistently the way that I used to be a few years back. And we're we're gonna get into all that, but I wanted to just do a reintroduction. I've actually had a lot of new followers and new subscribers throughout the years that have just been following me for business content and th different things and really don't know much about me like outside of that so I kind of wanted to hit the basics of you know some questions that I've been getting asked you know throughout my socials and even in my classes like people have been asking me basic questions like where I'm from and things like that so we're gonna do a quick like you know refresher on a little bit about me I also want to talk about in this video pretty much why I fell off from YouTube and kind of give like I don't know just my perspective and just kind of my thoughts on just kind of what happened with me and creating content and how I feel or have felt about social media and the different platforms pretty much throughout the you know these past few years and then I'm also gonna do a Q&A I did ask my Instagram followers to get to know me again so whatever they wanted to ask you know things that maybe I haven't talked about in the past like few years or so I did leave the question box open on Instagram so we are gonna run through a few questions so this may be a long video just because it is in three parts so I hope you stick around thank you so much for being here and let's jump right into it all right so starting off I just want to hit the basics for people that may you know maybe this may be like your first time ever clicking on my video or you've just been following my content you really just don't know who I am so my name is Fatima my middle name is Francesca I actually spell my middle name different than what my social media um name is spelled and the reason why is that back when i started like my first time i ever had like a username was back on the twitter days and i remember i put like my full name fatima francesca and it just was too long and it didn't fit so i just shortened it and i just did like francesa and then that fit and then i just kept it that way so yeah throughout the years you know i've branded myself with the name spelled that way um obviously now I have a llc that is fatima versus llc which is my consulting company so that is how um you know the name ended up being but yes my name is fatima francesca i do spell it a little bit different but that is me i am 31 years old i am a nurse practitioner and i'm an entrepreneur i have multiple businesses the main ones that i am vocal about or that people know about is my medical spa so yes i do own a medical spa slash iv hydration wellness practice here in greenville south carolina and then my other business that is very well known on social media is my consulting and training company so i do train um other nurses other healthcare professionals how to get into the world of business and having your own practice and things like that next question that i've been getting asked a lot is where i'm from and my background and things like that of course if you're an og y'all already know a lot of this stuff so I am originally from Miami, Florida, so I was born in Miami, and my parents are both Nicaraguan. So Nicaragua is a country in Central America. It's actually right next to Costa Rica. So yes, my background is Hispanic. I do speak Spanish. Um, I speak Spanish for the most part, like outside of my business life and my work life um like in my family life like for the most part i'm just speaking spanish all the time um and then when i come to, like you know business youtube things like that i speak english so i am very much bilingual i handle both languages like <laughs> pretty much day in and day out okay but those were the main questions that i just wanted to kind of get out of the way of course we're gonna hop into the q a a little bit later in the video and see what you guys specifically want to know i haven't even tapped into the q a i haven't seen any anything in there so I didn't want to like do too much of my own like who am I because I know I left that question box open for you guys so we're gonna move on to the next topic and that is why I fell off of YouTube 
pretty much there's no sugar coating there's no way around it guys i just got to a point where i did not feel as passionate and as in love with creating content as i once felt so a little background on my channel and on my youtube journey i actually started my youtube channel in 2015. i am close to hitting my 10 year anniversary and i'm actually excited about that because this is the longest that i've ever stuck with any kind of project in my entire life i you know throughout my life i have dibbled and dabbled into a bunch of different things a bunch of different projects like literally since i was like 18 years old and you know, I had my first business at 18 years old, okay? I was teaching dance classes, like, I did that for a little while. Like, I've just been all, just trying all kind of stuff that I've ever wanted to try. And YouTube has been the one thing that I have stuck with for the longest. So that is definitely, like, something. That is definitely a milestone. But yes, I started my channel in 2015. I was actually in nursing school at the time. And my channel actually started off as a beauty and makeup channel which a lot of people don't know especially if you've just recently been following me yes my channel started off in the beauty industry i was doing makeup tutorials i was talking about beauty products i was talking about hair nail skin just all things girly and it was just my hobby outside of nursing school right it was just my hobby i wanted to connect with girls i've always been a girly girl <laughs> and it was just a fun way to like create a community and we all just talk about girly things right in 2015 i also deviated from that a little bit and started showing a little bit more of my life in nursing school and those videos really took off i started to get you know just gain a whole new audience which were either nursing students themselves or people that aspire to be nurses or current nurses like you know my audience literally just changed and my nursing videos really started to take off so when i saw that you know naturally i started creating the content that people wanted to see and that is kind of how i made the transition from the beauty industry into like being more of a nursing creator and there i started filming my study journey or i mean my student journey you know study videos like study with me come to clinical with me you know all things student life and pretty much my channel took off in like 2017 that is when i first started creating income like i started making revenue from youtube and honestly between the between 2017 and like 2020 my channel was like taking off i was making consistent revenue like just i mean a lot of revenue right like i i bought my house straight up with like social media income like my youtube channel and social media really created like a means of you know living for me and that was really amazing and i'm very grateful for that and then in 2020 you know i have a whole video on 2020 and just everything that happened in 2020 and my mental health and how things just kind of declined 2020 was a great year for me to be honest like a lot of great things happened but a lot of like bad things happened as well which like i said i have a whole video on that so i'm not really going to tap into the subject in this video but pretty much when i came back in 2021 after going through my mental health crisis and like just everything i i mean y'all know this i did not come back the same and i know that that was felt i know that that was evident and you know I, I really felt like after going through that experience and just everything i had dealt with you know through but just being uh, a public figure because that's kind of what they called it back then you were a public figure like people knew about you like you were just out there in the internet i came back in 2021 and i felt like i really just had to protect myself and like that just made me go into my little shell of privacy and let me tell you once you go into your shell or once you get comfortable with not sharing not posting just not being as open not being as vulnerable like you just go into that shell it is very hard to come back out because you fall in love with the peace um, I fell in love with the peace i fell in love with the privacy i fell in love with having my just not a camera around in my home in my house like things like that right i really fell in love with just my private life and it was very hard to find the balance of staying active on my social media but keeping my privacy like it was just a constant battle you guys honestly from 2021 till now um i remember even when i was in therapy i'm not in therapy anymore but when i was like that was definitely a topic that i brought up a lot it was like you know what am i like what should i do with my social media like you know i feel like i'm like one foot in but one foot out like i always wanted to go ghost like there was so many times where i was like you know what i did it like it's been years i enjoyed it youtube opened so many doors for me but like 
I'm ready to tap out. Like there was so many times, you guys, I almost quit on y'all. I really almost like retired. And honestly, it was you guys that just kept me coming back. I was like, you know what? I miss, I miss the gang. Like I want to, I want to update them on stuff. And you know, like I said, I kind of was like one foot in, one foot out with um, social media, which I know y'all can tell. Like I haven't been as consistent as I was years prior. Of course, if you just started following me, you probably haven't felt this because you've just known me from now yeah guys there's just not much to say about it um the reason being was just that it was a choice right it was definitely a choice because obviously i saw like the views going down the revenue going down like that's normal if you're not consistent that is normal right i'm a business owner i own two other businesses i know what happens when you're inconsistent when you're just not as passionate in your business and when you're just your heart is not really in it anymore obviously all those things reflect so i already knew it like i said it was a choice i wasn't really like oh let me try to save my channel like things like that i was like you know what it's just gonna happen naturally and if this is it this is it right and i didn't have any kind of like you know i was just not trying to make too much effort to like keep the channel afloat and like stay back consistent and all that stuff like i said i think for a little while i kind of just lost the passion i felt like i also lost touch with you guys because we've all kind of grown up together i know i have a different demographic like different age ranges and stuff but for the most part y'all are either older than me or like around my age or maybe younger than me and like we've all just grown up like we are grown grown we're the new adults guys and i think you know as you get older like your interests change you know i'm not the student anymore i'm like a full-blown adult like i have a new mindset just new new stuff right and of course naturally not everybody's gonna be able to like relate to the new you or your new content and your new mindset so that is completely normal but i do feel like throughout those years that it was almost like there was like a disconnect with my own subscribers and obviously that was a little discouraging from keeping me to continue to create content because i'm like what do people want to see like i'm kind of confused like i don't know what they really want from me and so that was also a reason but yeah moving forward guys where i am at with my channel it is pretty much back to being a creative hobby for myself um you know i honestly i really do enjoy the, the process of youtube i enjoy filming i enjoy editing i enjoy coming up with ideas on videos and most importantly i love teaching <laughs> um i'm like an educator at heart like i'm a teacher at heart i love being a resource for people whether that is in business and in your life and your love life Life and your girl life and like whatever it is I love like just being like that big sis vibe um, that I've always had you know in my channel like back when we were doing the car chats and the girl talks and just the whole thing so yes so yeah guys I mean moving forward where I feel again with YouTube is again just falling in love with it you know being myself right I don't want to feel like okay I was this person and I have to continue to like do the these kind of content like I'm really at the point where I just want to create what I want to create you know what I enjoy if it's 500 people watching it my 500 little views listen I'm a rock with y'all if it's 5,000 views I'm a rock with all of y'all like I'm not in a point right now where I want to like grow my channel or like grow my subscribers grow my views like I'm past that right I feel like I definitely hit my goal just all my goals that I have that I wanted with YouTube like YouTube has opened so many doors for me I'm social media in general so I feel like I already accomplished honestly everything personally that I wanted to accomplish so moving forward it's just back to having fun back to connecting back to having um memories for me to even look back on because that's also something amazing that i love about youtube like i could go back and watch my old vlogs and like i love that right so that is kind of where i'm at you guys with youtube and my reintegration my reintroduction i'm very like i'm just excited again i don't know if y'all can tell like i don't know what happened something switched and something clicked in my head where i was like i want to just get back into it and i want to get back to enjoying it next thing you know i was at best buy buying a new camera i'm like i'm taking people to around my traveling like i'm back i am back so i hope y'all can feel the vibe like through the camera of my excitement with being back and thank you guys for being here and welcoming me again with open arms all right guys well let's hop into this q and a i'm excited i haven't even looked at the questions i'm honestly just gonna open it up and scroll all the way down to the first questions and just try to answer as many as I can. So, number one, how's the relationship life? So happy for you. So yes, that was another thing that I probably didn't mention in the beginning, but I am engaged. I am a soon-to-be wife, guys, and I'm going to talk a little more about it because I see a lot of questions already here on like 
wedding planning wedding planning like oh my gosh okay we'll get into those questions but yes i'm a soon-to-be wife which again is another big transition like i'm no longer the single girl that was like i don't know you know like talking about certain things and i don't know just that vibe like i'm getting ready to, to enter my wife era and i'm really excited actually to bring a different perspective a different vibe a different mindset because i'm gonna be fully embracing my wife life but um relationship life you guys is amazing i was single for a long time let me know if y'all want me to do a video on just like my relationship journey and like you know leading into me becoming a wife and things like that but pretty much throughout the whole time that i was on youtube I was single okay um i'm trying to remember <laughs> my first like last relationship well hold on yeah like my last relationship before my fiance was like my early early 20s so i might have been off of youtube i'm not i'm not sure with the dates but it was my very early 20s and then from there actually yeah it was before youtube and then during nursing school like i just made a pact to myself like i wanted to be single i wanted to focus on school and like getting my education and stuff and i didn't really start dating till I got into nurse practitioner school which at that point i was like maybe 24 yeah i was like 24 ish but yeah for the most part it was just like situationships and stuff like i didn't have like an actual boyfriend to like i'm in a relationship until i met my fiance which was 2021 so yeah guys this is definitely like a new era of myself actually like i haven't really shown y'all or let y'all into like me as a as a relationship girl um but i'm definitely a relationship girl guys like i always wanted a husband i always wanted Wanted, like my person and yeah relationship life is going amazing i'm so happy like i'm at this stage like this is honestly something that i always wanted i always wanted like a partner to do life with and to share like the fruits of my labor with and like you know what is life like what does everything mean like money having a great career like having all your degrees if like you can't enjoy everything that you work so hard for with like your person you know so it yeah relationship life is going amazing thank you so much for saying that you're happy for me and yes i will be letting you guys in a little bit more with my relationship life which leads me to the next question are you ever going to show your fiance like a couple's q a um yes y'all will be meeting my fiance very soon okay stay tuned i'm just gonna pop it in there like it's not gonna be a title or nothing y'all just gotta stay tuned and see if he pops up in a video but yes you guys will be meeting him soon and a couple's q a i mean i'm open to it i don't know what we would talk about i mean maybe y'all can, can let me know what questions y'all want us to do but just know whenever my fiance slash husband gets on camera we're gonna be speaking spanish because we speak spanish in our relationship and we just want to keep it natural i mean obviously we speak english like outside of you know like in our work life like i said but with between me and him like we speak spanish and we're just gonna keep it natural like our dynamic but i'll be sure to put captions in here for you guys this one is so sweet it says you helped me through the darkest times and seeing you grow has been so healing i absolutely love this comment thank you so much um for even sharing that because those are the kind of comments that like just keep me going like i said i'm here because you guys and you know for a while when i was thinking about like quitting youtube and stuff like trust me i felt like ah uh, i felt like it hurt even just thinking that because it's like oh my gosh like it just hurts so but i'm here i'm here and thank you so much for sharing that it says okay will you start showing some of your wedding plans on social media introducing your fiance so like i said y'all will be meeting my fiance soon when it comes to wedding planning like i don't know how to even really share that like there's not i'm not really doing much yeah like i'm not really doing much that i can kind of take you guys along with i mean like most of it is done i guess i could kind of give you guys a wedding update because that's honestly like <laughs> most of the questions here like what when i'm getting married what's the updates okay so i'm gonna share some things just some some of the stuff that i'm comfortable with y'all know this is like a big thing right and y'all know when it comes to like big things i share it when it happens but of course i'll let you guys in a little bit so number one i am a 2024 bride so yes i'm getting married this year i'm not gonna give the exact date because like i said that is to me that's like a, it's like that's a lot to share like put it out there because I just want to be stress-free you know like leading up to the wedding like i don't want people like oh this and that like you know just just all that stuff i want to be stress-free all around just the, the wedding date and everything but yes i am getting married this year guys um we've been ready to get married like it's just like 
why wait you know what i'm saying and also 2024 is like a beautiful year to get married the chinese calendar it is considered a lucky year because this is a leap year and yeah in numerology the numbers express love luck and prosperity which is really great and even our wedding date um it has a meaning behind it like the actual numbers and yeah i'm just excited for the date um there was really no need to wait until like 2025 things like that or even more like even longer so yeah we are having a small wedding um pretty much family and friends like immediate family immediate friends so we are having a small intimate wedding um i am having a destination wedding which no surprise here i'm sure y'all are not surprised when it comes to me like any kind of big memory that i want to have like i just absolutely love doing it in another country and just having like that country become like a memory like you know like any big thing like my 30th birthday you know dubai um yeah like celebrating um business anniversary like things like that just any kind of celebrations i love to just do it out the country and just you know just countries create like memories and milestones for you guys so absolutely i'm having a destination wedding i won't be revealing the destination also but y'all will see i am planning to vlog the entire like wedding um, once it gets to that point we'll be taking y'all along I, I plan on doing like a vlog from my point of view so we are gonna have like our professional like videographer but i'm gonna take my own vlogging camera and like talk to you guys and like you know just vlog my my wedding weekend uh, what else can I update y'all on wedding stuff? I mean, yeah, like most things are done. We just, you know, we're just kind of putting finishing touches. I don't have my dress yet, but I think I think I found the one that I want. So probably that's what it's going to be. So a lot of people are just saying they're very exciting, excited. We love you, Fatima. I miss you, big sis. Catch us up on everything. So a lot of people are just excited because I had announced, you know, I'll be back on YouTube consistently. One of them says, I know you're taking a break, but will the IV startup classes resume in 2025? So yes, I do have new plans for my IV hydration business classes for next year. Like I said in a previous video, be sure that you are subscribed to my email list. I actually already sent an email and the people in the email list already know what's coming in 2025 so yeah be sure that you are on there if you want to keep up with my um, business things one of these says how do you manage your time to be able to have time for you ruby your man family and businesses etc so ruby is my dog in case you guys didn't know um, i'm also a dog mom and i literally treat my dog like a child like my schedule and my life revolves around my dog like for real she, yeah like she's literally my my baby right now um yeah she's like my whole baby like even even my vacations like i plan around her like being sure she's like well taken care of like the whole thing but um how do i manage my time i mean yeah just having like a schedule and just maintaining like i i don't like to overwork myself like that's another thing and i will be making a video on like the hustle culture and just like my how my mindset has changed because back then like if y'all knew me from like 2019 2018 2017 i was a hustle girl like I, a girl boss like i had merch that said like hustle girl boss like all that stuff like i was going hard and like me right now in 2024 at 31 that mindset is so gone like i don't like to overwork myself i love to enjoy like my family my man my home like chilling like you know just relaxing like very much a soft life okay i am definitely my soft what, what, what do they call it so, like the soft girl era the soft life the whole thing i'm definitely living my softest life right now i'm definitely living like the softest i've ever lived and i do have to shout out my man for that because you know he does allow me to be in my in my feminine energy like to just you know for me honestly like my businesses are for fun like my man is definitely a provider like even just that even just the mindset of like knowing like i have the option to just like just be like just be a woman like just be feminine like i don't have to be going as hard um that's amazing so i do have to shout out my man because he has allowed me you know and like we'll we'll get into this topic in a different video but i definitely went from being like a hyper independent single girl to like a soft girl like <laughs> i don't know how, how how to like really put it and i and i have to shout him out because he it was a big like what's it called like there was a lot of rewiring of my brain that even had to happen for me to like get to this point because like i said i was used to just being like hyper independent like everything myself like this and that and then, then he came into my life and i had to learn how to allow like 
just allow somebody else to like take care of me and things like that um okay more questions here on the wedding planning house wedding planning that's the other thing guys wedding planning it's been going okay um it's not it hasn't been as stressful as like i've seen like i'm definitely on what's it called bride the bridal side of tiktok and like you know i'm definitely seeing all the bridal stuff and getting ideas and advice from people but like i said i'm having a small wedding so i feel like even that right there just eliminates like so much stress i'm also not doing a lot of the traditional things like i don't have bridesmaids we don't have groomsmen like just a lot of the stuff we're not doing a bridal shower we're not doing bachelorette and bachelor parties like you know we just want to enjoy like a beautiful romantic ceremony with our intimate family and friends we are definitely going crazy with the honeymoon the honeymoon is this year as well and i'm gonna be vlogging the honeymoon but that was like the main thing you guys we almost eloped actually like we almost i had all the plans to like elope and everything i was like let's just fly out take beautiful pictures go in this amazing country and like you know just me and you but then you know we definitely wanted to let like again our close family and friends in and so we kind of switched up our plans but it hasn't been too stressful like i said because it's it's pretty small and a lot of the things that i feel like people get stressed out about like I don't know the bridesmaids and the just all that stuff like we don't have to really deal with a lot of that stress um so if anything it's just been just putting finishing touches on stuff like you know we did decide to do all this stuff pretty last minute like i got engaged in january but i didn't start wedding planning till like maybe may like it's just been recently i decided like yeah let's do this and let's just get to like planning because for most of like january through april like just the first few months of being engaged like we didn't really know what we wanted to do like we were going all over the place like are we gonna elope are we just gonna go on our honeymoon like what do we really want to do um so yeah the planning and everything has been a little last minute but i mean like i said i i think the fact that the wedding is small is just eliminating a lot of stress and the other thing because there's a question here on like wedding advice like if i'm doing all that stuff i think my biggest advice is going to be um like we all know that weddings are expensive so just just keep that in mind because i feel like a lot of people stress out with like the budget and they're getting quotes like just know like the wedding industry is like overpriced like a lot of people say it's like um like a whole like industry of like over consumption and they just charge like way more just because it's like a wedding so i feel like a lot of people can kind of get stressed out with like budget and stuff because you get quotes from people and it's like oh my gosh so just know that from ahead of time because we already knew that i was like i know like especially the way that we want to do it like you know like it's a destination wedding like things like that we already knew the expenses were going to be there so i feel like if you already know that ahead of time maybe have savings ahead of time also so that way you're not like stressed out with like trying to fund your wedding um hey boo can we do your girl talk chit chat get ready with me videos i miss them absolutely we have so much to talk about and like i said i'm in my 30s now i'm getting ready to be a wife like my mindset has changed we're not talking about like f boys and like all that stuff we are talking grown woman stuff like where my 30 plus girls at because we have like new conversations <laughs> favorite parts about your life right now p.s so happy you're back thank you so much um favorite parts about my life just the peace like you're, i am so at peace guys like peace that's all i can say that's my favorite part about life i'm at peace with e every area of my of my life my relationship is like healthy peaceful and happy my business professional life i'm peaceful i'm happy and i'm grateful my family's healthy um oh my gosh like just everything like financially i feel at peace like just just at peace guys that's probably my favorite part about life um what else and definitely just the freedom like i feel like it's been beautiful to just be able to like pack up and go like you know go go out the country travel i just feel very free very flexible guys i think just the feeling of like freedom is just so like underrated like it's such a beautiful feeling like it, it, that's probably my favorite part about life right now okay guys i'm gonna answer a few more i see questions on let's see relationship fiance i kind of hit all of those stuff wedding oh what about the podcast good question so like i said i may sit down and do a video just like all about the different platforms like just stuff like with with the creator world but the podcast guys i am no longer going to be on the podcast i had 
taking the decision if i'm going to be consistent on a platform i have to choose a platform like i said i can't be here there 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 like four platforms like trying to give like different information on top of having like businesses outside of social media like it is too much i i just know i can't i can't balance that you know when i started when i kind of rebranded my podcast which was like a few months ago right like i was literally gonna come back i've done like three episodes already it's going well going good but like I said, there's content over there that's not on YouTube. And then it's like there's YouTube stuff that's not on the podcast. So it's just it, it really gets confusing. I feel like nowadays, even people like on their podcast, they're doing visuals on YouTube. So now it's like your your podcast content is also on YouTube. But for me, it wasn't that way. Like I had different content on the podcast and then new things on YouTube. So all in all, guys, I just made the decision if I'm going to be consistent on social media, I have to choose a platform. And I chose YouTube because this is where most of you guys are. You know, mo most of my following is on here. My biggest audience size is here. And, you know, I feel like I could kind of do it all. I could do short form content here if I want to, which I have been doing YouTube shorts, by the way. Um, I could do long form content like I could just do different kind of things. So. I won't be back on the podcast. I do plan on, so the topics that were on the podcast for now, the three episodes are all like financial things, which I do plan on bringing to YouTube. I have a whole financial series that's coming, you guys. I'm super excited. I have like 10 topics already of like videos that are coming in the finance series. So, you know, if you've missed out on the, the stuff on the podcast, it's definitely gonna be over here on YouTube. But yeah, guys, the podcast, like I said, I'm just not gonna stretch myself thin and commit to things knowing like I just can't juggle every platform there was another question um where oh yeah so this one says i thought you said youtube was where the money is that instagram isn't paying so back on youtube you go so i did kind of want to um touch on that also because i did open up to my instagram followers and i was explaining like you know with all these different platforms personally like i said for me i have to choose one right i can't be here there making reels here little tiktoks here and like youtube here it's just like it's so much guys and so again i made the decision to make youtube my full-time platform um and yes youtube is where the money is for me i am actually monetized on all platforms except tiktok because i'm not there all that much tiktok i mainly use for like marketing and things like that like you know marketing my classes and stuff but like my podcast is monetized my youtube is monetized and my instagram is also monetized so i do make money from making reels and stuff but so instead of like focusing on making instagram reels like i could just make them on youtube like youtube shorts so again i'm gonna make a video um this is more so for like other creators or like people that want to be creators because I know there's a lot of people creating content now and really just tap into like the monetization because it shouldn't be a taboo topic like we all know as creators this takes time and personally for me even though this is a creative hobby I like I still want to be compensated for my time and stuff and so I'm grateful for the bits of life and knowledge you have shared it has helped me so much thank you guys for all like the the gratitude comments like there's definitely a lot of like love in here and i guess the last question there also there are different questions here on like kids babies y'all always ask this question whenever i leave y'all the q a box y'all want to know when is your girl having kids this one says um do you want to have a baby before or after marriage so like i said I'm, I'm getting married this year so <laughs> for the most part it's gonna be um after marriage unless you know something happens within the next few months or something but um <laughs> yeah but definitely ideally after marriage i've always been the type that wanted to like get married you know and then have a have a baby i wanted to experience life with my husband just us you know like no kids yeah, just us no kids like you know newlywed life and I'm, i definitely want to experience that still um so yeah definitely after marriage and then like the questions like when do i want kids when do i want kids um i do want kids i know like before in previous q a's like when i was in my 20s i used to say i didn't know i was like i don't know i don't know if i want kids i remember saying i will revisit that question when i turn 30 and believe it or not when i turned 30 i got pretty clear on yes i i do want kids i don't know what it is like yeah i don't know what it is about just like i guess just getting older like you i just feel more settled into life and i have a like a partner right like i have a man that wants to be a father like i could see him being a dad like that all those things just make you like you know want to create your own family your own little like your own little family and stuff so yes at some point y'all i do want kids honestly i think sooner than later like there's really nothing holding us back right now like i don't know like sometimes i sit down i'm like what am i really waiting for like this is like a, actually a pretty good time like i'm pretty flexible in my business we have free time we're yeah like we're financially ready for a baby like just 
Mm, everything's lined up. I don't know, y'all. I guess we just want to travel a little bit more. Although, we're not going to stop traveling just because we have a baby. Like, we're definitely taking the baby along <laughs> with our life. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, guys, I'm going to leave y'all with that um i hope you guys enjoyed this video I guess thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you so much for being here throughout all these years especially my ogs that have like stuck with me for year after year after year i think another thing that motivated me you guys to come back on youtube i also forgot to mention this when i was talking about like you know i almost retired was actually my trip to costa rica with my subscribers like meeting people in person like a lot of the girls that went on the trip had been watching my channel for years and years and it was like wow like this is crazy like you know the love and like all that i feel like it just like re-motivated me it was like oh my gosh like you know i'm i can't leave them like <laughs> yeah like it just had me thinking like i can't just leave and go coast like what so that definitely like re-motivated me and i'm just excited i hope like i said y'all can tell my excitement but stay tuned for the next video. So let me know in the comment section like what type of content y'all want to see. What kind of videos do y'all want to see. Um, what kind of topics do we want to talk about when the girl talks. Just all kind of different things that y'all want back on this channel. Because like I said, we are growing up together. We're older. I feel like our mindsets are different. Our interests are different. So let me know what y'all are into. Like what kind of stuff do y'all want to see on this channel. And I'm so excited to be back. I love you guys um, so much. Thank you for being here. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.